Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate San Ezequiel Moreno, a longtime missionary who worked in the Philippines. He is invoked as patron saint of those who are suffering cancer. We invoke his intercession, especially for those who are sick and suffering right now. May our Lord Jesus be their healer and strength. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord 
for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, light of the faithful and shepherd of souls, who set San Ezequiel Moreno in the church to feed your sheep by his words and form them by his example, grant that through his intercession we may keep the faith he taught by his words and follow the way he showed by his example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction, so that I saw how many there were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin cover them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the Spirit, prophesy, Son of Man, and say to the Spirit, Thus says the Lord God, From the four winds come, O Spirit, and breathe into this lane, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. 
when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O oh, my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the way to an inhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their streets, he rescued them, and he led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of men, because he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Please stand. Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them a scholar of the law tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, in our gospel passage today, talks about the commandment to love. Ang utos ng Diyos na magmahal. Pero kagabi habang naghahanda ako ng hobili na ito, napatanong ako, ang pagmamahal ba 
ang pag-ibig ba ay pwedeng iutos? Can love be commanded? What is the commandment of love for if love cannot be commanded? My dear brothers and sisters, the commandment or the law of loving God and of neighbor is not there just to be enforced because you cannot force someone to love. Rather, the commandment, the law to love God and neighbor is there to teach us how to love. That is why the prayer always in the Old Testament to God is teach us your laws. The law is not there to force you or to command you. The law of God is there to teach you. That is why our prayer to God today is teach us, O Lord, how to love. Because many times, we fail in love. Many times, we do not know how to love. Many times, we love in a wrong manner, in a wrong way. Madalas kapag nagmamahal at umiibig tayo, umiibig at nagmamahal tayo sa maling paraan. Kaya napakahalaga na ibinibigay sa atin ng Diyos ang kanyang utos ng pagmamahal sapagkat dito, bagaman hindi tayo mauutusang magmahal, natututunan ang magmahal. Our first reading today promises the people of Israel that they will be recreated by God through His Word, through His salvation given to them. In the prophecy of Ezekiel in our first reading, he saw a vision of Israel like dry bones. But when God gave them His Word and His teachings, these bones became true persons. They were recreated by God. And so in this Mass, let us ask our Lord Jesus for our dry selves, our dry hearts that do not know how to love. It is through the Word of God that our hearts will be recreated again our whole person will be recreated again and we will know how to love in the manner and in the way of God. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw na ito, ibinibigay sa atin ng Diyos ang kanyang utos na magmahal. Hindi lamang ito utos, ito ay pagtuturo sa atin Paano bang magmahal? In this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray to God. Teach me, O Lord, how to love because many times we do not know how to love. May the heart of Jesus teach us the way of loving. Amen. Please stand. Let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers also show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. For every petition, let us say, 
Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That the church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That our homes may be places of God's presence, where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. That Christ may bring to his eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. Lord God, you reveal your will to us through your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, give us the grace to live out these commandments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We humbly implore your majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of San Ezequiel Moreno, bear witness to the glory of divine power, so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of San Ezequiel Moreno, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy 
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Make us who have been nourished by this sacred meal, Almighty God, always follow the example of San Ezequiel Moreno in serving you with constant devotion and assisting all with untiring charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, at 9 in the morning, here at the Manila Cathedral, we are inviting everyone, especially our choirs, our music ministers in our parishes and communities, for the launching of the musical setting of the Mass by Father John Van Destine, a short Mass for the people. The event is open to the public, and every participant will be given a free copy of the book. And uh, we will also culminate the launching at 10 a.m. with the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Again, we invite our choirs, our parish music ministers to attend this launching. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.